Hi guys, I've been here at Liverpool, I've just drawn 2-2 with uh, Tottenham Hotspur, obviously that only tells half the story, that last sort of 10 minutes there were absolutely mental at Anfield, Spurs dominated the second half, got themselves an equaliser through Wanyama Stunner, which you know that happened about 20 minutes ago, but that feels like forever ago, since then Kane uh, won himself a penalty for being brought down by Karius, uh, obviously was offside, um, and you know, I, I, it looked like a dive to me on first viewing, um, you can see on the replay there was some slight contact where the Kane kind of... Uh, force that contact, you know, is, is open for debate. It is, it is, it is a dive, but um, th there was contact there. So it's, uh, but but it's offside. I mean, it's just a fucking stupid decision. Um, the, the 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 linesman and the referee have a discussion about it. They're saying that uh, if the player in between the, 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 the someone got a, they thought someone might have got a touch on the first pass through to Kane, and if he did then it's not offside, and if he didn't, then he is offside. They didn't know, they were guessing, and they, they gave it because they had to just go with their first decision. Um, Justice was serving, Karras saved it, we go on the other end uh, in stoppage time and score to make it 2-1. Uh, wonderful goal from Salah. Um, obviously we will go ballistic, and then uh, another penalty is given, and this is the one that's going to split opinion. Uh, the first one's obviously not a penalty, and uh, this one, for me, isn't. Um, Van Dijk sees Lamella coming, goes to kick the ball away, sees Lamella coming and pulls himself out. There might be a tiny, 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 tiny touch on his calf as my mates here are pointing out. And, um, but sorry, it's just a fucking, it's just a fucking bullshit decision if you ask me. Um, the, the, the referee should go as instinct, the linesman gives it, um, Tottenham get the, get the point and celebrate, you know, like they've, like they've finished fucking second or as good as they ever going to do in this league. Um, excuse the bitterness there, I'm just obviously a bit down after having that sort of what I thought was going to be three points reduced to one. Um, but on the on the face of it, Spurs were superb second half. They, they were superb from sort of, um, well yeah, I mean as soon as the second half started that they, they were right at us and, and the goal was coming, a wonderful, wonderful goal from Wanyama uh, and, and it, it was fully deserved. Um, but the re I think it's just the officials is, is what kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth. John, I've never trusted John Moss. Um, He's always been shit, to be honest with you, um, and he's he's uh, been at the forefront of, of us dropping points here today. But Liverpool's legs completely went second half anyway, so um, we've only got ourselves to blame, I think, on the face of it. A point when you look back at it, maybe isn't a, a disaster. When, when Spurs brought it back to one all, it looked like they were going to go on and maybe win the game. So to come out with a point, it's just a shame about the circumstances. Salah scores a magic goal, fit to win any game, um, but obviously we have to settle for the point. It keeps us two points ahead of Spurs. Uh, six points ahead of Arsenal, so they're kind of back in it now. Um, so yeah, still still a long way to go. Chelsea yet to play. Uh, United won this weekend, so we fall behind from them. But we've got a, on paper an easier run now uh, to come, Southampton away next, so you know, we've just got to bounce back from this. Um, let's do some player ratings, why not? I, I, you know, I, I best uh, do what I normally do, I'm just fucking annoyed about the, the, the official in today, to be honest. Uh, and our second half performance. <coughs> Karius, um, you know, Neville and Carragher, Neville and Redknapp brother were kind of mixed on on his role in the first goal. Uh, he, he comes out and obviously clears it. I don't think it's disgraceful. I think Emery Chan should do better. I think Oxley Chamberlain should do better before one Yama absolutely rifles it in. I'm not going to criticise Carragher too much for that. Uh, he comes out and gives away the penalty, albeit perhaps harshly, but um, he probably didn't need to come out and make the challenge anyway. But he does redeem himself with a save, uh, and there's obviously another penalty in the end. So. Um, mixed Dave him. I don't think he was bad. Um, he's a bit lucky with it with a cross that came in and he got out jumped by Kane. Uh, but a couple of tiny saves. I'll give him a six. I, it, it wasn't disgraceful. He was by no means to blame for us not winning this game. Uh, but other than that, I thought the whole defence was pretty good. Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, I'll give him a seven. Some of his delivery in the first half was very good, but I think he gave a bit too much space to Davis at times in the second half, um, and, and his legs kind of went. Lovren, uh, I thought was very good. Eight out of ten. Van Dyke, very good. Besides giving away that penalty, eight out of ten. Robertson, poor delivery second half. Overall, quite solid. Good work. Seven out of ten. Uh, midfield, Henderson, seven. Thought he did pretty well. Um, Emery Chan was actually quite quiet, I'd probably give him a 6 out of 10, I feel like he should have cut out that first goal, although he obviously can not anticipate Wanyama rifling it in. Uh, Milner didn't do much, I, I guess his pressing was okay, 6 out of 10 perhaps. Uh, the front three, Mane wasn't quite on it, his, his, his end product wasn't quite there, probably a 6. Mo Salah, 9 out of 10, um, great finish for the first, as cool as you like, and then a wonderful, wonderful goal in stoppage time. Firmino actually couldn't get as involved as you'd like today. Uh, still some neat touches and, and drop, obviously as usual dropping deeper link up play, but um, probably a 7 out of 10 performance at best. 
And then the subs, uh, Vinaldum and Oxlade Chamberlain can't really get into it. They, they just can't get a foot on the ball, probably a five each. And then Matip comes on and makes a little impact, so have a five for him too. Um, Strange game, exciting game, thrilling game, so much to talk about. Um, it's hard to kind of talk about it all now. I've given my opinions on the penalties and, and the performance. I thought a point's a fair result, but the manner in which we got it is obviously frustrating because there is some arguments to be had over both penalties, obviously one of which was saved anyway, so it doesn't matter, and that gave us a lift that you know, ultimately probably helped us in, in scoring the winner anyway. Uh, but the second one, the 94th minute penalty, is the real killer blow. And I, although some people don't probably might think it is, uh, including some Liverpool fans that kind of said, yeah, he kicks him. I just don't think Van Dijk can do much about it. I think he, he, he goes to swing and he stops himself. And if there's a little touch, what do you expect? The man is obviously going to draw the contact because he moves right in front of Van Dijk. Um, if you're going to get a penalty for that, then, you know... <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a smart ask. I think you're a smart ass if, if you um if you think that's a penalty. But um, congratulations if you do. But um, yeah, look, we get a point and we move on. So Southampton next. Uh, we have to play better than that. I thought Spurs look really really good there. I think they're probably a better side than Chelsea and a better um, candidate to finish in the top four at the moment than Chelsea. Uh, more solid and I thought Ali grew into the game really well. Eriksen when he got time on the ball was superb. Harry Kane obviously. Couldn't get into it that much, but you know he ultimately saves them a point. Um, Son, Heung-min, his movement is, is just a nightmare to deal with. Dembele actually started to run the game a bit uh, at the start of the second half, and obviously got withdrawn, and obviously when Yama scores that one, the goal. So Spurs, fair play to them. Um, in defence, they looked a bit shaky. Davison Sanchez, there's a few times I've seen him recently now where he's not quite looked at it. Maybe when Alderweireld comes back for them, he might just slot straight in and play alongside Vertonghen, and, and uh, they might stick with the back four, so obviously they... They were playing on the back three at the start of the season with Sanchez, Vertonghen and Alderweireld, but it'll be interesting to see how they go for the rest of the campaign. But obviously we want to focus on Liverpool here. Um, great first half an hour. Uh, should have put more than one goal past Spurs, just the end product. Salah's final ball at times, I suppose, was a bit uh, off. Um, but look, we can't, we can't be completely clinical every single week. And we get a point which keeps Spurs at bay, keeps us in the top four. And we go again against Southampton. So thanks very much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the penalty decisions, especially the second one, because I think that's the most contentious one, but I don't think it was a penalty. If you think it is, then fair enough. I completely, completely disagree. Um, but as I say, on the whole, I thought we were probably quite fortunate to get a point the way that second half went. So swings and roundabouts. Leave a comment with your thoughts on our performance as well. Subscribe if you're new and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. It's Ben Might Say on all of those platforms. And I'll see you next time.